Hello friends, in this video I am going to tell you how to create a new screen in Android and move to it on button click. So let's start with a new project. I am naming it as new screen. And here in this create activity in this project we have one main.xml and main activity.java single page this main.xml contains only one text view so here what we'll do is delete this text view and we will add a button to it so just click on it and click on add inside and then click a or add a button widget now give some id to this button widget like but one or button one b u t o n one okay now let's go back here you will find that button is already added in xml file now we go to the java file but before going to java file we have to create a new page so here we will go to view files and navigate to this project new screen app source and then in resource at layout folder add a new xml file name it as second okay and in this xml file we can add something like a background color Now let's go to Java file. In main dot x in main activity dot Java, we have to add code for moving to the second page. So here in main activity dot Java, we have to define on button click listener, and for that we need to add private button here. private button and then you can give it any name like but one and put a semicolon now we must tell this app what but one is so here we have to write but one is equal to and in bracket write the type of thing it is it is a button and then find it by its id find view by id and write the id of the button r dot id dot button one so this is its id now close this bracket and put a semicolon uh, after this we have to add a button on click listener so just write but one dot set on click listener set on click listener with o c and l capitals then write new view dot on click listener then put these brackets and then start a curly bracket uh, it has started and closed it also now the problem here is we have not added view here so just import android dot view dot put a star and a semicolon here so here you can see it has imported app os widget view and view with capital letter now we also have to close this bracket which we opened here so you have to close it after this and put a semicolon here now inside this button set on click listener we have to write at override and below that public void on click And inside this view 
with a V and close this and start another curly bracket. Inside this we can write the code for what happens when the button is clicked. Now when the button is clicked we will use intent to move to the second screen. So we will define an intent here. Private intent. And name it something like I equal to new intent. And put this curly bracket and a semicolon. Now it has already added this content for it. Uh, after this, here we will write the name of the intent, which is I. Now after this write dot set class i dot set class then write get application context then put a comma now write the class name to which we are moving now name of the class here for writing name of the class we have to add a new java class so we navigate to view files and move to java folder here we have only one java file main activity dot java add another one second activity okay now we have another file second activity dot java for this second activity, we need to write some basic course. So we go back to main activity dot Java and complete. We will complete this code first. Second activity dot class. Now close this bracket and put a semicolon. And in next line write start activity and in bracket write intent name of the intent which is i here just write i and that's all now let's move to second page in second activity we have to write the same thing at override protected void on create bundle saved instance state and then super dot on create saved instance state and set content view r layout and here we have to write name of the second file second xml file just copy this code and move to second activity dot java here inside public class second activity we will paste it and here second activity extends activity okay that's all we have to write here now after the package name we have to import android dot app dot star and semicolon and we also have to import android dot os okay that's all now change this main now we also have to close this on create method so put another curly bracket here and set the content view to second dot xml page second dot xml so we will write this s e c o n so this will set the content view of this second page now after doing all these things save the project now move to android manifest file go to view files and now go back you will find the android manifest dot xml inside this file 
we have to declare the new activity which we have added so just copy this code and write name and label copy this and when this activity is closed just go down and add another activity in space this code close it here and instead of main activity write second activity or name of the activity which you added android label can be anything we will just remove this thing android label and that's all now save this project and run the project So here we have a first screen main.xml which contains a button and we click on this button it moves to the second screen which has red background. So I hope this was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.